we're into September. I'm in a journal that I'm currently working in, finishing off the rest of this year. So it's really lumpy and stuff because I, it's been folded flat so I can work in it. So it's going to be kind of bumpy looking, but it settles down like the other bit journals did. Just FYI on that. Anyways, we are into September and into our third and final journal for the year. I've already purchased my journals for next year. I'm, I love this journal. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the opening page I did for the, the journal. Um, and then this is the opening page I did for September. And these are all the Dollar Tree um, wall decals. I have a fan going because we have the stove going. If it it stands out and it drives you guys nuts, let me know and I'll turn it off next time. Um, you may not even hear it. I'm not positive yet. But anyway, so these are all from the Dollar Tree. They're the wall stickers. You get it in the hardware section of the Dollar Tree. And then I printed these on clear uh, paper. Transparent label thingies. <laughs> Anyways, all right, September 1st was a Saturday. We got the meal plan done. The guys are out working on a truck because I think an alternator went out. Oh, water pump teaching him how to do it. Not that he'll probably ever do it because he does not like to be dirty at all. <laughs> and then we're filling up the gardens. We got the gardens all put in on one side of the yard and we went and got a whole bunch of dirt. Oh, we haven't installed them on the other side yet, but it took, what did it end up taking? Six cubic yards. So like nine tons of dirt to fill them. But um, yeah, so this is us filling in the, the gardens, the new raised bed gardens. And then we baked and had soup and, and some of the bread that I baked. And um, I got a new monitor to hook up to my camera and it looks really dark. So I'm hoping it's not really dark here. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, oh, well, you can still see it. It just won't be perfect. Right? Is it okay? I don't know. Oh well, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it and we're just gonna do it. All right. Um, yeah, bread baking day, it's a Monday, so we're getting chores done. The cats are fighting over who gets to sleep in the warm, clean blanket, because we don't sleep in dirty blankets, we sleep in chlor warm, clean blankets. We took a trip up to um, Bozeman, which is a couple hours from us, to try a vegan restaurant that they have up there. Eh, it was all right. I, I was a little disappointed, but the food was good. It just was eh, a lot of money for not a lot. <laughs> but um, so we, um, this is what we, the sandwiches and the salads and stuff that we got. And this is on the trip. We did have a chai latte that was delicious. And then just some extra photos. Um, anyway, so that, that was that trip. We went a lot of places in September. And then on the 6th, Joshua's birthday present showed up early. I got him an iPhone 7 Plus, and we signed up to use Cricut for his cell phone service. It's not been bad, actually. I'm kind of surprised. It's cheap and it works, so yeah, he was kind of excited about it. Um, I made him change his shirt because I don't know what happened. It was all bleaching him out, weirdly. So I made him change his shirt. Yes, I did. Um, let's see, the seventh, um, working more on the gardens, getting the other side of the driveway done. And then I, I figured I could make the sandwich that we made at the restaurant even better. And I ended up doing that. So this was a grilled cheese sandwich, um, with, that I got at the, the restaurant. And then this is my version of it. And it was much better. <laughs> so, but you know, um, yeah, the kiddo turned 18 this year. That that happened. I, I'm not a fan. I tried to make it stop, and he blatantly disregarded my instructions to stay young and, and little and grew up on me. So he is 18. So we took this. I printed out this sign to catch exactly when he turned 18 and when he was born. And so I, I just thought it was fun. And we made a cake. Um, no dairy, no oil, no animal products. It worked out really good. It was delicious. We had pigged on it. But um, here's, here. I just put in there some pictures of what 
when he was little. Um, this is hanging on my wall. And then this was the sign. And then um, we had, he wanted uh, carrot dogs, which if you haven't had carrot dogs, you're missing out. They are fantastic. By far one of the weirdest foods we've ever eaten and by far one of the best foods that we've ever eaten. The only thing is, is I store-bought rolls for it. They were shit. I should have made them, but we had been traveling and I just didn't have it in me. And I wish that I had made them because they were not great. But the corn dog, the corn dogs, the carrot dogs were awesome. They taste just like hot dogs. It's crazy. And then I made um, potato salad and we had cake and stuff with it. And um, we had gone up to Livingston to look at the car show and the market that was up there. So that's why I didn't bake that day. But, um, and then this is just um, the letter that I gave him. It, we all cried. I cried. Dad cried. And then here's some journaling about the day. And I gave him a card and some chocolate. His favorite chocolate. So that was his birthday. Turning 18. He's now an adult. Boo. But then the next day. So yeah, this, this day was a trip to Livingston and his birthday. And then the next day we went and we were just going to run up to Red Lodge. And then we thought, well, let's run up to the top of Beartooth and take some pictures. And then we ended up running around the Chief Joseph and back. And it, a three hour day turned into an all day day. But um, it was fun. I was tired. It, it was, but it was fun because they had so much construction and stuff going on. But anyways, um, we went up to the top of the world and they've got a whole bunch of construction and we took some pictures and, and it was fun. We just took the day and just went, but here's a shot of us all wind blown. It's crazy wind up there always. And, um, in the car, this little, they have chipmunks all over at the top of the Beartooths and, um, because they, people feed them and Josh died. He was out. <laughs> but, um, oh, we're getting rid of the old fridge. Well, it died, basically. And so I'm packing it all. We have two refrigerators. And so I'm packing all of the stuff out of one fridge into the other. It was jam packed in there and it died. So it went and I ordered a new refrigerator, which I don't know what I was thinking when I did that, but it took over a month to get it here and I don't wait well. And when you're waiting on a refrigerator, that's like being without water. <laughs> yeah. So it, it was a long suffering wait, but menu plan day. And then we hit 12,000 likes on our living whole food plant-based Facebook page. And, um, next day was more gardening. Cause now Josh and I are staining everything. We, we stained it this really dark stain. It's just two by fours. And we stained it really dark and then it'll weather out looking like weathered old barn wood. Yeah, it, it's, I love it. Then we had these weird planes fly over. I guess they have the satellite dishes hooked to them and they were flying it's really- It's 1245. It's 1245. They were flying so low I could take this with my cell phone. Look at that, it's crazy. Um, Anyways, I was getting my scrapbook on apparently and with the uh, with the second refrigerator gone We had all this room in the kitchen and we started moving things around and decided when the new refrigerator shows up It's going in this room and we're gonna leave the table where the old refrigerator went because it gives us more room Who knew all I needed was my refrigerator to die to find out how to use my kitchen better hm, Go figure if you walked into our house, you'd think it's so weird. I mean we it, it's it's not normal <laughs> and I'm okay with it because I love it, but it, it's different. Anyways, um, I finally found a good deal on an ATV that I, we've been looking for to snowplow our driveway. We have a couple hundred feet worth of driveway that we've been shoveling by hand for years and finally decided to screw it. And so uh, we bought a 2018 Polaris Sportsman 570. Uh, with all the bells and whistles on it and yes, we paid cash. We don't owe money to anybody except for our house. I don't know how to get out from under that, but we're working on that. That's 2019. Anyways, um, so we, we bought this ATV and ordered it from Lewistown Honda up in Lewistown. So, um, yeah, that's, that's that. And then we had praying mantis in the, the garden. And it was a brown color. I had never seen him brown before. So, and he just let me pick him up and carry him around the garden. It was hilarious. 
he was just pretty happy as a clam. So, um, yeah, that's that. And then um, Joshua had to register. I don't think I can, yeah, I can't show you in there. Um, since he turned 18, he registered. There's pictures and stuff. See, there he is filling it out. And um, we ran out to the Laurel Farmer's Market and picked up some tomatoes. These, these tomatoes are out of my vine for once. That's all I got that whole year. It was a bad tomato year. And then these are the squashes that um, we picked up out at the farmer's market. The delicantes are my favorite. You just slice them, roast them, and eat them. Oh, it's so good. You can eat the skins. Who knew? All right, where are we? Next day. Oh, gar more garden stuff. Um, I found a green prey mantis out there. I don't think they color change, do they? I don't know. Maybe it was the same one and they color change. But um, he, was, he was following me around and... I made um, biscuits and we had, um, or rolls, not biscuits, rolls and we had chickpea salad sandwiches and then we had this baked macaroni, cheesy macaroni for dinner with salad. Um, oh, stencils, distress oxides. I haven't been telling, but I guess you guys will ask if there's something you want to know about. Um, these are from the Dollar Tree, the wall art stickers. and. I got to finally try the cotton candy grapes. Holy crap, they taste like cotton candy. They weren't kidding. So weird. Very expensive though. We only bought one to try. And um, mini plan day. And then we were fixing the rope on my pellet stove so that it would, I don't know what happened to that photo. Holy cow. Uh, so that it would, um, it needed new rope. So it needed to be sealed. And then we made burgers and I made rolls burger buns to go with it and we had air fried potatoes sweet and regular potatoes it was delicious and joshua made yogurt so that we could make sour cream out of it and then we went back up to lewistown um to pick up the atv and this is us on the road and hauling it and and this is what it was and then we got it home and it was broke <laughs> isn't that always the way we fixed it but that just figures but um, here we are trying it out for the first time. and It's fun. But Dollar Tree uh, butterfly wall stickers and then a, a, I printed a quote out and Sophie was hanging out on my chair. And here we are out playing with the ATV and he picked it up really quick. He's scared to drive the regular car, but the ATV was fine. So now I'm hoping that he'll be fine driving the car now that he's figured out he can control it like the ATV. So we'll see. And then here I am, I'm on it too. But I hope to not have to, I bought the ATV for the guys so that they would snow plow, not me. <laughs> it's cold. Um, this is all done in distress oxides and distress inks. And then I printed the quote. This is a Dollar Tree wall sticker. Um, the pellet stove is on because it got cold, so the cats are vegging out, and then of course, mini plan day. This day, actually a lot happened, and I have it in a separate book, so I need to put something here that says, we went to West Yellowstone because we went to spend the two, a whole weekend traveling around West Yellowstone, and so that's why there's nothing on these two pages. But they are done. They're just not in here because it was a really long. I drove 700 miles. Ah, but we had a great time. But so these are technically blank, but they are in another little thing that I have put away. So anyways. Um, and then plumbing problems. You know how that goes. We live in a 80 some odd year old house. If that doesn't narrow it down for you, I don't know what will. But it was, it had to be fixed. And then we plumbed, we went, since we were down there, we plumbed it for the new refrigerator. So the ice maker, we could move it to a new room. Um, I got another batch of the oxides. Yay. And I now have all of them. So they're really, I have all of them. So I, I was happy. But anyways, here's, um, here is a short bit about our trip. But again, the other, it was for the other day, but we went up to the Continental Diet. But this is not about the trip. This is about the picture. And I don't know if you guys can see the picture, but this is Joshua when he was two and me holding him. I was probably just under 400 pounds. And then this is us a couple of days in the past and I'm 150 some odd pounds now. And obviously he's gotten bigger. <laughs> 
But anyways, so I, I like to take before and after shots like that. So it, that's, that's what this whole page is about. Uh, garden's growing and doing really well. And then, um, I don't know, I, was, I got this, Peachy Cheap had this whole kit, Life in Bloom by Simple Stories. And so I um, was scrapbooking with it. There's tags, they, they come out. I'm not going to take them out. But there's a tag in there and a tag in there that has all the journaling on it. And then there's pictures. My rose was blooming. And then, hold on here, where's the, whoop, here we go. And then, um, just a, I, it was just a, a Thursday, I was playing with the deco foil, and so I hand lettered all of that. Refrigerator's on its way, we got the ATB license, whoa, that was not cheap. That was expensive. Joshua's working on schoolwork. We cooked some spaghetti squash, had sushi for lunch, and the cats are snoozing. Oh, and I did a whole post on how we bake our bread and what our recipe is and that kind of stuff. So, um, because that's one of the number one questions I get is, how'd you make that bread? I'm not a baker, and if I can make it, you can make it. It's really easy. There's no oil, there's no dairy, there's no eggs, and it, it's just really easy. Comes out great every time. Uh, we went and got some more squash from Lucky's this time because they had a huge sale going on and then I bought some piping tips because I was gonna get all fancy was from mashed potatoes and I never got it done so they're still waiting to be used and then I was playing with the distress oxides and we made caviar with homemade chips for lunch let's see oh the refrigerator arrived finally it took forever I love it is ginormous oh my gosh it's so big it, it's just big um, and the part I thought I was gonna not like the most is the part I ended up liking the most but it has a mushroom drawer well it's a meat drawer but I use it for mushrooms and it has an ice maker shitty ice maker so disappointed in the ice maker but the rest of the refrigerator I like a little door thing and so yeah and now it sits in the other room but they managed to get that ginormous thing through our door. I, we were all holding our breath. I can't, these two little tiny dudes, little tiny dudes. I don't think either one of them was over five foot and weighed 98 pounds rubbed together. And they carried that refrigerator, woof, right into the house, up a couple stairs, onto our little tiny porch. It was craziness. They were awesome. Um, and then Dale's moving some shelves for me because we rearranged a whole bunch of stuff and we went and picked a whole bunch of kale. That is a ginormous laundry basket. Yes, full of kale and basil and stuff like that. And then it snowed, weirdly. I don't know why. It just decided to. So it snowed and then it was nice by the end of the day. And the guys were making sushi for lunch because we eat a lot of sushi. And then we're on to October. Really? That's it? That was fast. All right, you guys. I will see you in the next one. I'm almost caught up. Woo!